Hey everyone, I'm Florida Realtor Lauren Gavin and welcome back to week four of our 90 days to home ownership challenge. Today we're talking about wants versus needs. I'm sure you remember having a lesson like this sometime maybe in like middle school, but wants and needs are something that are very different when it comes to purchasing a home. When you're trying to figure out what your must haves are, what things that you need in a home, it can be really hard, especially because we know emotions get in the way. So let's go through some examples of wants versus needs when you're looking at homes. Here's a simple definition of a need. Basically, it's a non-negotiable. It's something that you know you will not be able to live without in a new home. These are usually based on things like comfort, security, and privacy. On the opposite side, wants are things that you would love to have, but you know you can live without. And they're probably things that you can change or add in the future. Needs might be things like enough square footage for you and or your family, the number of bedrooms that you absolutely have to have, a backyard for your pets or your kids, a first floor master bedroom, an attached garage to store your cars, or close proximity to work or school. Wants will look more like a pool or specific paint colors on the wall, certain types of countertops or appliances in the kitchen, or specific types of flooring throughout the home. The difference about these items are that they can be changed or added in the future. The things that you can change about the home that you buy, the lot, the location, and the price that you paid. So it's important to spend a good amount of time making up your wants versus needs list. Please don't rush this process. You really want to narrow in on those non-negotiables, those things that you absolutely have to have versus those things that you'd like to have, but you know you can add or change later. If home ownership is a goal of yours in 2024, you're in the right place. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can continue learning about how to become a home homeowner in just 90 days. We'll see you next week.